All right, so I thought I'd start the video now. Um, wait, why did I start it literally as there's a plane flying overhead? Give me a second. Okay, so basically, um, are you freaking getting me? Like, hi, I'm trying to film a video here. No respect for the arts, jeez. Okay, so basically, hi. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Those are really big bugs. Try three. I've decided to off to the mountains. Word retracted, probably. Honestly, it's been a pretty weird couple of days, weeks, not months. Months? Yeah, this whole summer. I don't know. It's just been like a lot of changes and a lot of really weird, dramatic stuff for no reason that just like occurred. And I just, you know, sometimes you just get in that mood. And it's like a kind of a permanent mood of mine. It's just like, I just wanna f off to the mountains. So, here I am, the mountains. The mountains, I say, with a pole line in the back. I'm in the woods, on a road. And I'm going on a hike, solo hike, slash run. Oh my gosh, I must just drop my phone. But uh, cue the montage. For another talking one, but um, drive at a hike cleaning site. You can drive here, but uh, I did not. And there's a car here, and I really wanted there not to be a car here, but there is. And that means there are other people on this mountain, and I don't get it to myself. But uh, it'd be like that sometimes, so. Here we go, I guess. The car is like literally on the trail. This is the fake out. You can see the sky and you think you're almost there, but you're not. Ooh. <coughs> I made it guys. And right as I was coming, the other group was packing up and leaving. So I do get the whole mountain to myself. It's good, it's a good day. I also ran the last part of it, cause like, when I film that clip where it's like the fake out, like you think you're like almost there, but then there's actually like another like 15 minutes and it's like downhill and also like straight. So it's very confusing. I mean, there's a few more uphills, but I'm like, if I'm going to a mountain, why am I going downhill and then straight? So I just ran like that part after. And now I feel sweaty and really hot, <laughs> but it was good. So let me show you guys the view. Um, this is my backpack. Had it since I was like 10 years old. Um, it's just my like outdoorsy backpack, but it does not have it. It's one of those straps that goes across your waist, which I realized is not good for running. Like that strap is kind of good to hold it in place. I just had to tighten them really tight and it was like bouncing and it was not amazing, but you know what? It'll do. Um, so if I open up my backpack, which is hard to do with one hand, what's in my backpack? Number one was my phone. Um, I put my phone in my backpack while I was running. And also my headphones, they're uh, Bluetooth Beats. Got them as a promotion that AT&T had a while ago. Broke the top off of this one, which you would know if you saw my gym video. <laughs> Subtle uh, self promo. I also have a hat. Oh my God, oh my God, a bug just bit me. <laughs> a white baseball cap, which I didn't think I would need because I'm in the uh, like woods 
you know, protect it under shade. But I thought I would bring it just in case. Something that I do not have in my backpack, which I wish I had, is bug spray, bug stuff. So I'm getting eaten right now. Oh my god, like, look, wait, do I already? Guys, the bugs are actually attacking me. Bringing some not happy times to what's meant to be my peaceful, pe ugh, 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 peaceful solo off to the mountains. So you bugs, words retracted probably. I also have my water, my sunglasses, which I also didn't really think I'd need, but I thought I'd bring them just in case. My book for if I want some relaxing reading time on top of the mountain. I also brought my eye drops because I get dry as a lot when I'm like outside. So I just thought I'd bring them. And then I also brought chapstick because when I run and I'm like breathing, my lips get like really chapped and then I only focus on that and not on like actually exercising. And I did end up using this on my way here. So I was very glad about that. Probably not gonna read if I'm being honest. The bugs are kind of attacking me and it's like ruining my vibes. So I might just like run back. Oh my God, there's another bug on me. <laughs> there's so many bugs and I've gotten so many mosquito bites just sitting here for like five minutes. This was meant to be a peaceful reflecting time. I cannot be here anymore without bug spray. I've gotten literally so many bug bites and I don't know, they're just really attracted to me. Also, I'm the only person here, so it makes sense. They're going for the only thing that there is. <laughs> and I'm just like actually freaking out. Like I'm gonna have so many bug bites. Sorry. This was meant to be a peaceful video and it's really just me freaking out. But um, love the mountains. I've had a very good time doing this little, it's only 0.9 miles, but like a lot of it is uphill, so it's tough. I just realized it'd be really embarrassing like people can definitely hear me oh my god like how is this real life you know problems don't seem so big when you're standing on top of the mountain if you have any mountains in your area 10 out of 10 encourage you to go hike them encourage you to go hike them solo i mean make sure you take safety precautions let someone know where you're going and stuff you need moments to reflect and moments to be in nature and kind of realize you know all these Bugs fell in the middle of my speech too. I'm sorry, I'm itching my bug bites right as I'm talking about this. Like, yeah, you have problems and you have issues and you have drama and you have really stupid people in your- Okay, nope. And you have stupid people- I'm gonna talk and say this as I'm leaving. And you have stupid people in your lives that unnecessarily cause you a lot of drama. And you know what? Sometimes those people might be you. One of those people is me at- myself that's a direct out to myself everybody say bye bye just go outside go in nature find a tree hug a tree this now this is coming off very preachy now i don't mean to come off as preachy i just mean it's really easy for the extent of your problems to be amplified if all you do is sit inside in a room and think about them and just sometimes it's really hard like trust me i know it's hard but sometimes you just, you gotta go to bed and you just gotta realize, you know, you need your rest or you gotta just take a lap. I just like walk around even in your house. Do something. Get out of your own head. It can be easy to forget these things and sometimes we just need a reminder from an external source. And if you're, if you've been looking for a sign, consider this your sign. I'm telling you to get off off your butt. Stop feeling sorry for yourself or feel sorry for yourself. Follow in your pity and then do something about it. Okay. Cue the montage.